it is human nature to remember what is evil and to forget that which is good. As I've given the illustration before, if uh, somebody gets up in the morning and begins to shout, praise God, and begin to dance and rejoice, and the neighbor say, oh, what happened? So I'm thanking God for he said, delivery of my wife. Mm. And he said, oh, you got another baby? He said, no, I'm thanking God for the one he gave me two years ago. Uh, they will look at him with suspicion. <laughs> and if a man gets up and begins to wail and to cry loudly and the people came around, what's happening? What, what's the trouble? Oh, I'm just remembering my wife that died seven years ago. They say, oh yes, oh yes. Sorry. It is in the human nature to forget good things quickly and to remember the evil ones. When you go through the story of the children of Israel, you will see this demonstrated again and again in the Bible. Just one example will do. In Exodus chapter 14, the Almighty God to the children of Israel to the Red Sea. So they came to Exodus 15 and began to praise God, to sing, to dance from you know, Exodus 15 all the way to uh, verse 21. They were singing and praising God. But verse 22 of the same Exodus 15 said that they came to Barak and the water there was bitter. And immediately they began to grumble. Until another miracle happened and the water became sweet. And then you can find example upon examples. Now why must we not forget what God has done for us. If we remember what he has done for us in the past, it will give us courage to face future challenges. First Samuel 17, 34 to 37. First Samuel 17, 34 to 37. David said, I remembered what God did when the lion attacked me. I remembered what God did when the bear attacked me. The God who delivered me from the lion and the bear, he will take care of Goliath. When you remember what is done in the past, it will give you courage to face the future. In 2 Chronicles chapter 1, from verse 6 to 15, 1 Chronicles 1, 6 to 15, Solomon remembered what God had done for him, and he showed his gratitude, and he got more. Just like the others who say, if a child is grateful for what he's done yesterday, he will receive more today. On the other hand, if you forget what he has done for you, he will remind you. Mm. But by this time he gets to reminding you, you know trouble is on the way. For Samuel 15, you can read it from verse 1 to 23. Psalm 15, from verse 1 to 23. 
when he sent King Saul on an errand to go and wipe out the Amalekites and he didn't obey God completely, God said to him, you were little in your own sight when I made you king. Now, you've become a big man and you are not obeying me anymore. Fine. You came from the gutter, you can go back to the gutter. Mm -hmm. In 2 Samuel chapter 12, if you read it from verse 1 to 12, 2 Samuel 12 from verse 1 to 12, God said to David, I took you from following goats and sheep and made you king. I handed over to you the kingdom of your master, his house, his wives, everything. And if you had said that's not enough, I would have done more. Now, you've reached a stage now where you can do whatever you like. And he said, I place a cross on you. Hmm. When God begins to remind you of what He has done for you, instead of you not forgetting and you are asking for trouble. And in this passage, they mention two special things we should be grateful for one, salvation of our souls. In Romans chapter 8, from verse 31 to 34, Romans chapter 8, from verse 31 to 34, it tells you of many of the benefits of the fact that you are saved. One of which is that anything else you want, you can get. Because God has given you His only begotten Son. What else do you want that they cannot give you? So even if there's nothing else to thank God for, thank Him for the salvation of your soul. That's why I told our people, you want to give your testimony, start by saying, I thank God for the salvation of my soul. Because that's the biggest thing. It is the one that opens the door to the others. And then he now went on to healings. Mm. It's only the living who can praise God. If he had not healed our brother who was sharing his testimony, he won't be here today. <coughs> oh, life would have continued. Mm. If God has not stepped in at one stage or the other in my life to bring me a miracle of healing, I won't be here this morning. But healings come as a result of the fact that we have someone who saved our soul, who we can call upon in the time of trouble, and who will answer us. My own prayer I had for every one of us this morning is that we would like to be constantly grateful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That we will never forget His goodness, His mercy, and all that He had done for us. That we will not get to a stage where God Himself will be reminding us. Amen. Mm -hmm. And then He will bless us more mm -hmm. and will give us the grace to face the future. Amen. A pity I can do her come so near Kenya Mori. Be a dying and sherry. Atima Mori, oh, my new one, I did. Papa, come on, and see, come on, and see, come on, you are. Uh, I want to 
But one say, Lord, don't do, Lord, don't do. When I go out to general overseer, I want to come up and pray, talk. I did to the Baba Gumbo. Hey, the Mama Kabanda walk. They let, eh? I have a gun. I can't talk on you, see. He was a book book and mill and they come. Won't you move me, David, to Jack with me, with the father saying, Ma? You do not know what this. Richard General Vasia, no food. It is too much. Oh, you need to do that, this carry out, am I? And it is a bad alive, Mori. I want you to say, Lori, to the point. Yeah, but you're a lot of money there, who love me. La Roy, yeah, you can't